My name is Malala Joya. I'm from Afghanistan, um, doing a struggle against fundamentalism and their foreign masters, uh, working for peace, justice, and humanity. Since I raised my voice um, in uh, 2003 against the fundamentalist warlords uh, who were in power with the mask of democracy and against occupation, my life fall at risk. Since that time, I have to live underground and I can't live with my family and uh, I have to use burqa. Received numerous death threats and uh, several times they did assassination attempts to kill me. Then when the terrorist Taliban came in power, despite wearing burqa and having bodyguard was not safe for me. Uh, the first days that they came in power, I uh, came to one of my relative house searching me uh, to eliminate. Uh, so for this reason, I have to uh, leave the country as my friends and my relatives, family uh, put pressure on me that uh, to leave uh, the country uh, to keep loud this voice. When I left uh, Afghanistan, it was very painful for me. And uh, while I'm here, uh, physically it is true I'm here, but mentally I'm uh, with my people and my country as um, every day they are, these terrorists are brutally, savagely uh, kill my people, especially the women, ban them from their elementary rights, don't behave even as a human to them. A lot of journalists now disappeared, were killed, and now under pressure, torture. Many, many examples like this that now men and women do not have liberation at all, suffering a lot. But for Afghan refugees to behave to them according to international law of refuge, this is what we expect. To give them chance, those refugees here, to be educated, to have chance to live here that like uh, other Spanish people as human. Let's do a human. They are the future of Afghanistan. I have this ownership that I received a uh, award in the past from CR, which uh, gave me more courage, determination, and hope. So no doubt we need the support of progressive organization activists like CR and other feminist organizations, human rights organizations, secular organizations, anti-war organizations that they must not leave us alone and support us. I hope that uh, one day uh, my people will Britain peace together to live uh, in my country that there will be security, there will be um, uh, freedom for them, that women and girls to have job and to go to schools as these ter terrorists when come in power close down the door of the schools for all the girls. And um, I hope that uh, one day all the terrorists who have bloody hands, they must come to the court to be questioned, to be powerless. I hope that um, one day we will have a secular, uh, progressive, um, democrat government that men and women together play their role equally in the society. And uh, I dream a lot for my country that uh, when this prolonged struggle for peace, justice and democracy against fundamentalism, we need the international solidarity of justice-loving, progressive people, parties, individuals around the world.